Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Hill, but by now, at this point of the quarter, I'm sure you know me, and because you've seen me do a presentation on a demonstration, you also know that I personally love to cook. And whenever people find out that that's a main hobby of mine, I get a common question of where did that originate from? When did you start to have that passion? And I can remember way back when, a long, long time ago, when I was a freshman in high school, I signed up for culinary arts. And at the time, I only signed up because I thought it would be an easy A, and there'd be lots of girls in the class. But shortly on, I found myself finding a true passion for cooking and for the culinary arts. Specifically, when I recreated one time uh, a dish from class for my mom and my family, her favorite dish, cream puffs, I got an immense reward from the joy and the appreciation and just the love that was shown through that experience and thought, man, this is really cool. I, I really want to explore this uh, for the future. And the rub, though, is, is that now I'm actually one of the anomalies. According to a Washington Post article from 2015 called The Slow Decline of the Home-Cooked Meal, today less than 60% of the, um, present, or the, the, the food cooked at home or eaten at home for dinner is actually prepared at home. 30 years ago, that was closer to 80%, so we're on a constant decline. That could be for a number of different reasons, including that we just have less time and we're busier, but one of the main reasons why people are cooking less at home is they simply don't know how to do it and they don't know how to do it well. So today, my presentation is going to be on why we should all learn to cook well, and specifically how it will benefit us in three main ways. We should learn how to cook well because it will help us eat healthier, save money on food, and improve our social life. So the first thing is, when you learn to cook well at home and cook delicious meals, it helps you to be able to eat healthier and your family eat healthier. We all know that restaurant food is notoriously unhealthy compared to home-cooked food. It's higher in saturated fats, it's higher in salt, and it's higher in sugar. And on average, the meals, over 92% of the meals for restaurant food uh, exceeds the caloric recommendation for a single meal. A lot of the times you can even be upwards of 1,000 uh, calories for the meal when you'd want to keep it under 500 usually. So when you learn to cook at home, a couple things really help you eat healthier. Number one, you can choose the ingredients that you decide to include, and you can, choose, uh, you can choose safer and healthier cooking methods. So for instance, I love to cook stir fry. It's one of my main staples at home. And you can go get a bunch of healthy veggies and uh, protein like chicken or beef and a sauce and cook it all up. And it's way healthier than if you got Chinese food from Panda Palace or even uh, takeout. Um, in fact, last week when I made this, I did some research and found that the average calorie per uh, serving was about 250, and that's way, way less and it takes no time at all. This meal took me about 15 minutes to make. So you really have the opportunity to cook healthier food and choose what you're putting in. And also there's no preservatives and all that other crap that they put in uh, to make it taste good. So I said that it's healthier and that's true, but as college students, I know we're all worried about our bank accounts and the money in our pocket. And that's the second point, is that we can also save money by cooking our own food and learning to cook well. According to a 2012 Workonomics survey, the average worker spends about $2,000 a year just on eating out for lunch alone. And the average meal eating out costs about $13, not including tip. And the average meal at home costs about $4 per person to make. So overall, if we can cook at home, we can save money. I'd like to give you some tips on how to actually do that though. It's one thing just to say it, it works, but these are some actually tips from BuzzFeed on how to save money. One is to respect the whole roasted chicken. On a weekly basis, I buy a whole roasted chicken from Costco and use it for multiple different meals and even use the carcass then to make a stock or a soup afterwards. It's about five bucks, goes a long ways. Second thing is shop the sales. Use the coupons, use the apps, and plan your meals around the sales. Use your slow cooker is another great one. You can throw a bunch of ingredients in the morning and then have a great meal at home uh, and it's not much work and it's pretty cheap. Learn to love leftovers. It's just as easy and almost impossible not to cook for a four uh, as opposed to two or yourself but that's okay, cook a lot and then eat it for lunch the next day, bring it to work, bring it to school, uh, learn to love leftovers. And the last thing, and probably the most important thing, is plan your meals uh, ahead of time and shop ahead of time. Because it's hard to stay consistent if you get home and you're hungry and you don't have the stuff on hand. So learning to cook will help you be healthier, it'll help you save money, and lastly, it'll help your social and love life. You want to be loved, you want to be uh, someone who is appreciated, there's nothing more than a home cooked meal that will do that. And also, for anybody who's single out there, if you want to attract a mate, uh, partners really like people who have skills, and specifically cooking delicious meals is something that is very attractive to most potential partners. 
I love to entertain. It's one of my favorite social things to do. Having friends over is a great way uh, to increase your social life and cooking for them is a great way to give them a gift and it's delicious and you have great conversations and it's just a really fun time. So the better food you can cook, the more likely you can invite people over and they'll love to be entertained. And then lastly, if you want a family, it takes a huge burden off of having multiple people in the family that can cook well rather than just one sole person who's responsible for all the cooking. So lastly, I like to give you tips uh, on how to actually learn to cook for beginners because it's one thing to say you should learn how to cook, but a lot of times it's, well, what do I do to actually learn how to cook? So here are some of my uh, tips on how to learn how to cook well. Number one is learn to love YouTube. I use YouTube for everything. I suggest not only finding your favorite recipes and watching YouTube videos on how to cook it, but also some of the basic skills like knife skills and sauteing skills is great um, because it helps you build a foundation and you can practice those elements. The second thing is invest in some cookbooks. These are my favorite cookbooks and I buy all mine on Amazon.com used for a fraction of the cost. Most of them cost a couple bucks, including shipping and handling and they're kind of my Bible for cooking, depending on the different cuisines. And then the last one is, is it doesn't have to cost a bunch of money. If you don't have any equipment, and you're saying this is gonna cost me a ton just to get started. It doesn't have to. Use Goodwill, use Value Village, use the secondhand stores in Bellingham. Uh, knives can be resharpened, cast irons can be reseasoned, and there's great stuff out there. You just have to kind of keep your eye open and shop the sales. And the last thing, the most important, is just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Enjoy the process, enjoy the delicious food, and learn to love to cook. So that's my presentation. Bon appetit. Thank you so much.